Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Medal of Honor multiplayer beta gameplay commentary for you guys. This time I'm playing combat mission mode on Hellman Valley as a U.S. Coalition soldier. I'm using the Special Ops class with an M4, and I have the combat scope, suppressor, and extra clip as my attachments. And I'm actually using the suppressor per the request of uh, YouTube user ALF1996XX. So thanks for that suggestion. I always like trying out new kits and challenging myself by using uh, weapons and attachments that I wouldn't normally use. Um, but yeah, anyway, what are my thoughts on the suppressor? Uh, I don't really like it. I don't think it's a worthwhile attachment. Uh, it decreases the amount of damage you do at max range by quite a bit. I think it takes about two or three more shots to take somebody out with a suppressor than it does without. And that's quite a few shots in this game. That's almost doubling the amount of time it takes to kill somebody with these automatic weapons. Uh, and for that reason, I don't think it's really worth your time. Uh, and when you, when you combine that with the fact that the radar in this game isn't nearly as useful as it is in Call of Duty, then the, the benefits of the suppressor <laughs> are pretty minimal, to be honest. Um, and what I mean by, you know, the radar being different than in Call of Duty is that the radar in this game is proximity and sound based. So the only time you're going to show up on the enemy's radar with an unsuppressed weapon is when you're in close quarters with them. And by that point, you know, probably 75% of the time, the enemy already knows where you're coming from, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and that other 25% of the time, they can probably hear you. So, I mean, <laughs> it the suppressor, the benefits don't really make sense to me. Um, the What you really have to look out for when it comes to the enemy knowing where you are on the radar is the UAV, and the only way to avoid the UAV's detection is to stand perfectly still while it's active. Uh, otherwise, you're going to show up on the UAV, and it doesn't matter whether you have a suppressed weapon or not, so... I don't know, those are just my thoughts on the suppressor. Um, I don't think it's really worth your time, but if you like the sound or something, or it just makes you feel like a badass, then go ahead and use it, I guess. Um, I'm using the combat scope for this video just because I don't think I've posted any gameplay with me using it yet, and uh, I just like to show you guys as much about this game as possible. So, um, My thoughts on the combat scope are... <laughs> pretty boring, but basically I don't really see that much of a difference between it and the red dot sight, uh, just because, I don't know, functionally they're the same. I don't think that the combat scope or the red dot sight augment the actual weapon's performance in any way, so it really just comes down to your own personal preference when it comes to the sight. Uh, I think I like the red dot sight a little bit better than the combat scope, just because the combat scope has um, the black cross over its actual scope and that can be a little bit distracting sometimes and then I also think that the combat scope is a little bit smaller so you can't see quite as much through the actual scope as you can with the red dot sight so that's why I use the red dot sight usually but um, there's really not that big of a difference between the two and here I am <laughs> just blowing through people this is a good spot to chill out in just because the enemy uh, doesn't really expect you to be there and you can both cover their spawn and cover the objective to make sure that they don't go in and disarm it or to make sure that your teammates can get in to it. Uh, here I got my rocket strike. I don't know if you guys noticed but earlier I got a rocket strike and I failed miserably with it. Um, I was aiming it over here towards here from the second objective and my teammate ran right in front of me as I pressed the uh, the fire button and it ended up um, marking him as the target and I almost got killed by it so that was a pretty funny clip you might want to go back and watch again for that uh, and I've got a pretty sick kill cam coming up soon as well it's pretty funny it exhibits one of the glitches in this game but I'll talk a little bit more about that when I get to it uh, the building that that guy was just chilling on over there is a very good camping spot as an insurgent that you have to watch out for as a US coalition soldier just because um, not only do, 
when you're up there do you have the higher ground, but you also have pretty darn good cover that you can utilize. And uh, you also have a perfect line of sight on both of the entrances into this little city here, this little town. So, uh, yeah, you got to watch out for people on that building when you're playing as a U.S. Coalition soldier. And that spot right there on the rubble is pretty good, too, um, just because the you're, you're peeking right over the wall and you have a very good line of sight on the final objective. Check out that kill cam. <laughs> That happens every once in a while on this level. I think it's limited to this level. I don't know exactly what the deal is, but uh, especially with sniper rifle headshots, they send you flying <laughs> pretty darn far. Um, I find it funny, but uh, DICE is probably going to fix it by the time this game comes out. And here I am just chilling in the bottom floor of the final objective. Um, those windows that I'm facing right now are important windows to kind of keep your eye on just because um, as a US coalition soldier if you haven't taken the final objective yet then you have to watch out for insurgents peeking in and then if the objective has been armed and you're an insurgent you have to uh, be careful when you're coming out of spawn because the soldiers will, will usually, usually be camping in there and they'll really tear you apart but anyway uh, that's it for this video. I went 33 and 5, probably my best KDR in this game mode so far. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later.